Montagu GWR, known as Tom in real life, is a YouTuber who made Thomas memes and animations from 2008 to 2012. He was a 19-year-old man who grew up with Thomas and friends in his childhood. He was well known for the content he often made on his main channel being kid-friendly, with adult content going to his, later deleted, second channel. Whenever he appeared on his videos, he spoke with a no-nonsense yet enthusiastic tone in his voice. Whenever he made memes, he sometimes used his persona, which is a humanized version of Duck, with a green shirt that had Duck's A on it, black pants, and the letters GWR on his hat. His intro featured clips of Duck from the model series of Thomas and Friends and text that read, Montagu GWR. He also has an alternate version of his intro, with a misspelling of his channel name reading, Montague GWR. In the titles of some of his videos, he has sometimes misspelled his channel name as Montague GWR, attributing the occasional misspelling to be done when he was rushing a video. On August 24, 2009, Tom posted a meme video titled, Puff Cycle, on his main channel, which was creepier than his other videos as the video background had little color and an animation of Duck driving down an endless track while looking at the viewer with confusion, as if contemplating why they're watching. After the video hits the halfway mark, Duck starts looking behind him and starts puffing away faster, as if running from something. Text below Duck appeared saying, I must do things the great western way, before cutting to Duck, who was severely damaged and off the tracks. Tom never did any face reveals because he wanted his privacy. Sounds like me by the way. After he posted Puff Cycle, viewers took note of the video's content, and speculated that Duck driving faster as the video progressed and looking back before derailing could reference running away from something. They also noticed a human face hidden in the video, which only appeared for a split second. Puff Cycle's description was, The Great Western Way is the way to go. Viewers began speculating about who the person was, but when Tom answered in another video, he had this to say. The identity of the person's face in Puff Cycle is not for you to know. There were also some viewers speculating that Tom might be afraid to say something. Tom had an abusive childhood, but seemingly shrugged it off as nothing, even though he should have gotten some help with coping. In his next video after Puff Cycle, he posted another video titled, Announcement. He explained about his abusive childhood, but without his usual enthusiastic voice and looking around everywhere, as if afraid of someone or something. Tom's viewers were growing worried about his mental health, and told him in the comments that he needs to get some help coping with the trauma. However as he spoke, two voices could be heard, one male, and one female, implied to be his mother and father. They told him to stop recording so their abusive behavior towards their son wouldn't be known. But Tom had already finished his explanation by the time his parents arrived. Before the video ends, a whipping sound can be heard, but near the halfway mark, the video turns black and stays that way for a while. It then cut to a monochrome image of Tom lying on the ground with marks on his body and his face censored with a black box. Tom deleted the announcement video after allegedly being physically abused by his parents. Tom stopped posting on his channel for two years. When 2010 came, Tom was back to posting at his normal pace, but he was not posting memes anymore, instead posting animations about his childhood with his duck persona as him and his parents as Lady Hat, Mother, and Sir Topham Hat, better known as the Fat Controller, Father. Whenever Tom spoke in his videos, he often sounded depressed and fearful. 2012 marked the end of his career as he wasn't posting many videos in 2011. In 2012, Tom posted a video titled, I'm Happy. The video was animations he made in the past with his human version of Duck. The end of the video had an oversaturated and brightened image of Duck with a wide grin and text saying, There are two ways of doing things, the great western way or the wrong way. The last few videos he posted were titled, No Control, and Make It Stop. No Control consisted of one of his past animations where Tom, as his humanized duck, is being yelled at by his parents for no apparent reason. The end image of No Control was similar to the one from I'm Happy, and was added into by Tom to reference his parents being very controlling of him, and feeling like he couldn't escape from their grasp. The image was also duck, with an evil grin and text saying, You never had a choice, I was always in control. 
Make It Stop was an announcement video. Tom said he couldn't take the pain of his abuse anymore and that he wanted it to stop. He talked about suicide quite a bit in the video and was even planning to do it a day after he posted it. Make It Stop was a video recorded by Tom's parents, who were abusing him physically, but there was no footage, only audio for most of the video. At the end of the video, it showed a heavily edited image of Duck sitting sadly in a shed with text reading, The pain isn't stopping, the great western way has failed me. This video was speculated to symbolize that the abuse Tom was enduring was having negative effects on his mental health. After years of enduring emotional and physical abuse from his parents, Tom finally snapped from behind the scenes, killed them both and posted a video titled, Karma, with a picture of their dead bodies and text reading, I'm tired of doing things the great western way, my parents always did things the wrong way, so it had to be done. When the video was posted, Tom's channel was terminated from the platform due to a community guidelines violation. Tom has since gone missing and nobody knows where he is or if he's even alive. The male face that appeared in Cuff Psycho was later revealed to be his father's. Years after Tom disappeared, his close friend Emma was being bugged by fans of his, wondering where he was now. They often hung around her house. Emma was an old friend of Tom and occasionally appeared in his videos, but stopped making appearances in his videos out of concern for her own safety when he started going insane. Emma eventually called the police on Tom's fans, getting tired of the constant attention she received. After everything that had happened with Tom and his fans, Emma eventually moved to settle down elsewhere. We'll be right back after a selection of pages from CFAX.